Hey, what's up, Leo? Welcome to Twisted Guidance Tarot. I am Poetry. You are here for your end of the month July reading. This is doing our Mercury retrograde. Uh, we are on the tail. Uh, we just left the full moon that started on the 16th of July. Um, it's about to storm where I'm at. And they all have significance to this reading today, I believe. Um, Mercury retrograde, you know, things get a little chaotic. Some things get a little turned upside down. Uh, and so it's the time for us to check ourselves, pretty much. Look at ourselves more deeply. Think about things that we no longer need. That no longer, uh, yeah, that we don't no longer need. <laughs> that storm, that just, that just threw me off for a second. Um... The full moon helps us see things that we uh, have kept hidden. Truths that we didn't want to speak on, they're going to happen. Um, this is also the thunder moon where we get a lot of storms. As you can see, it's about to go on up in these parts. Uh, what I call a cleansing of your mind, body, soul. You cleanse a whole lot of things. Um, I don't believe I just did that. I did. Um, in addition to, it's the hay moon where you cover up things that you have just planted, new, new seeds that you want to have grow. And you don't want them to be damaged or blown away. You put the hay down. Hay can stick you in the ass. Um, the buck moon. Also, all of, the, all of this is going on right now. All these are all the names for this full moon that we're in. The buck moon is when the antlers shed their old, when the deer shed their old antlers and grow new ones. Now I had a dream last night. I'm not gonna really go back through the dream. I did it for the cancers. I may do it again for another video, but I'm, you know, I, I, we'll see how this go. I am really not been able to shuffle these parts no more. Um, and basically, it was dealing with travel. I was traveling. There was movement. There was emotions. There was decisions that need to be made, um, giving up control, knowing when to take your control, watching for the warning signs. That's pretty much the message that I had in the dream. If you want to hear the full dream, go over to the cancer video and uh, get the full dream there. But those are the pretty much things. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. This is a general reading. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you at this time, I just ask that you have an open mind because it may come up in the very near future for you and you'll be like, oh, damn, poetry said that. So just because it doesn't resonate with you today doesn't mean it's not going to resonate you within the near future. Uh, like I said, this is for the n upcoming weeks that uh, hopefully there's a message in here for you. Like I said, this is for the Leos. It could be your sun, moon, rising. Your Mercury, your Venus, this could be any part of your zodiac chart, any house that you have Leo inside of it. Let's see, is that rolling by itself? Oh, I thought so. I'm still at work, I'm about to pull off my job slot. Like I said, I had not intended on becoming the tarot card reader, but it seems like that's where I can get my thoughts across clearly. So, like I said before in the, in the cancer reading. I always see tarot card readers show people the last card. The last card is the Ten of Cups. Shiny, happy people holding hands. I got a reflection going on right now because we in my car. Yeah, so you're getting the, the light reflected off of these holographic cards. Um, there's a family holding hands. There's a, a body of water flowing next to them. They look joyous and happy. The kids are dancing. Shiny, happy people. This seems like this might be a pretty good reading for you guys. All right. I'm going to pull the first five cards. I will show you what those cards are. And then I'll uh, put together a whole picture for you based off of what I see in the cards. They may not always be what you would hear in a typical tarot reading. That's why this channel is called Twisted, guys. Let me back out of this spot first. All right. Just thank y'all for being here with me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit the like button just to say hey. Or the, if it resonates with you. Oh, the gate. All right, let me get out of this gate because this gate is swinging. And I don't want that gate to hit my damn car. 
when the storms come out this way, they they come. So we may get some sound a soundtrack with uh this read here. Try to keep my road race to a minimum, y'all. I'm only human, flesh and blood, woman. I am just a man. I know it says a man, but that's still. All right. There will be no reversals in this deck that I will be showing you. We're going to read the cards as I see them. Your very first card is the Justice card. Um, be a symbol of justice symbol of balance finally getting what you want fair being fair you have the eight of Pentacles so there's a lot of hard work and determination going on there you reaping what you make sure you put everything you can into it Flesh and blood, man. I'm just a man. The devil card. The devil card came up in the last reading as well. Bondage, addiction, things you want to let go of. It could be persons, places, things, mentalities, emotions, people. I said persons already. Yeah addictions for real you know what i'm saying um being tied down to something they could be tied down to just your work home life and you ain't getting out and having no fun i see things a little differently in some of these cards we have the empress card the nurturer the mother keeping things together We have the magician. You're getting a lot of um, major cards, which basically means these are lifelong goals that you're trying to achieve, that you're gonna start um, making come into fruition, make manifest. Lifelong goals you got here. And then you have the four swords. You're at peace, you're at peace. All righty. You know what, I'm gonna put these cards down so I won't injure us in this process. Don't do this at home. Do not drive and read dang on tarot cards <laughs> like I'm doing. So like I said, the first thing that we have is the justice card. Um, in your life, Leo, uh, or th these past couple weeks, you know, you may have been dealing with a few things and now you're seeing the fair end of the stick. Things are starting to balance out and you're getting your way. You know, um, there seems to be a, a sense of pleasure. You're wearing your crown. You know, you ever heard somebody tell you straighten up your crown? Your crown is straightened. You you walking proud. You're sitting tall. That's how I see there for you. And It had to do with a lot of hard work. You know, for a while, you were um, doing nothing but working, putting everything that you have into work. You know, you weren't hanging out with your friends, you weren't partying like you used to. Uh, you, you had your mindset, you had your goals laid out in front of you. You were determined to make things happen. And uh, so, yeah, you did that. You did that. Saying. Our next card for you was the devil card. See, in your hard work, I, I, I sense this that you just being shackled to the job at that point in time, shackled to your goal. You wasn't having as much fun as you wanted to, um, not necessarily to a person or a place, but just working hard. You and stop having fun just so you could re reap the rewards. And you was trying to get something out of all the hard work you've been putting into it. It was breaking you. You was tired all the doggone time. You was angry, probably a little bitter at people, snapping at people a little bit, you know. Uh, 
Yeah. But and, and, and you saw what happened. You saw what happened, but you kept working. You kept working hard. You gotta hit them corners. You gotta hit them corners, y'all. And then we have the nurturer, the mother, the empress. You know, she's turning back, turning her back on um, <sighs> what the the feeling she was getting from working so hard, being just shackled down to to, to work. Now you're taking care of home. You're nurturing your home. Um, you can breathe a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You feel a little bit more relaxed and just like calm and <sighs> have some peace of mind there. There's a lot of peace of mind there. There's some love there, you know. People were looking out for you, you, you know. And you're realizing with the magician card that you got all the tools that you need, after all that hard work that you put in, you have accumulated everything that you need to be happy and to be at peace and have a peace of mind. You know that shiny happy people with the final card that I showed you guys at the beginning. It's your shiny happy people. You know, the, the Empress card is nurturing that family. You have all the tools that you need to do. There's a, a sense of victory there. A sense of victory. And you have um, abundance of time now that you can spend and join your family. And you're going to nurture those, nurture those peoples in your love. I said peoples, nurture the people around you and your loved ones. With all the gifts that you have achieved, everything that you have gotten from all that hard work that you were putting in. Your final card was the four swords, the four swords. Um, times was hard. Like I said, you went through some rough times. Like I say, it's tired, <laughs> back probably hurting, feet probably hurting. People like, oh, you ain't coming out, hanging out no more. But now that you put in all that hard work and you're able to get back to your family life and enjoy your family and be around them, show them some love and care. You gather everything that you needed during that season where you was working your ass off. You are now at peace. Despite all the hardships that was that was hanging above you, you are now at peace. And there's a um outside the window, the stained glass window. Th there appears to be family there as well, just in a kaleidoscope of love. And, the, and you at peace though. You can rest. Ooh, you can rest your weary eyes. Lay, lay it down and enjoy yourself. Mm -mm. And have all those good times with your family. We are family. Hey, 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 hey. So, yeah. Um, my only message and advice that I have for you is to enjoy this time with your family. Enjoy this time with your loved ones. Um, you, you did all the hard work. You did all the hard work. It's paid off. Enjoy it. Enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy it. For these last couple weeks of July, before we go back into our new moon, we learn to appreciate all the things that we have achieved and we have gotten. Just enjoy it. All right, y'all. Um, that's all I got for y'all, Leo. I hope that resonated with you. Hope that give you some sense of calm. Know that all that.